guys, Kim here. So yes, I'm doing two videos in one week, but there's a chance I don't do one next week. I probably still will, maybe like more towards the middle or end of the week. I keep thinking it's Friday because Jim is taking off the next two days. So I feel like it's Friday, but it's not, it's Wednesday. But the reason Jim is taking off the next two days is because tomorrow, Thursday, Annabelle is having her surgery. So if you missed that video where I talked about it, in a nutshell, Annabelle has pretty severe kidney reflux, which has caused her to get three really, really, really bad UTIs in her short life. And she gets like a really high fever, like her fever is like 107 the one time, it's ridiculous. She throws up, she gets sick, and it could cause permanent kidney damage. It hasn't yet, but that is why we need to fix the problem. So it's a pretty extensive surgery, like she's gonna have a scar, it's kind of like a C-section scar is what they refer to it as, like that's where it'll be, and it'll be like a scar probably for the rest of her life. It might kind of go away because she's still pretty young. But um, yeah, it's like a two and a half hour surgery. She's like completely put under and I'm super stressed about it. Like super, super stressed. <laughs> Not to mention, you know, there's all this house stuff going on and <laughs> surgery and then going to be away from Jackson overnight for the first time. My mom's gonna watch him, my mom and dad. So I know he'll be fine, but just like all these things I'm trying to pack today, like, Jackson's bag because he's gonna stay at my parents house They're not watching him here. They're gonna take him to their house Annabelle's bag my bag Jim's in charge of his own bag. <laughs> I'm not dealing with that, but doing all the laundry because I Want to take clean stuff obviously, but when I come home, I don't want there to be like a bunch of laundry piled up So I'm feeling a little bit stressed. I literally think I gave myself an ulcer like I don't know if it's a real thing when people are like oh, I'm so stressed. I gave myself an ulcer. Buy this ulcer. Okay, huh? on a roof of my mouth and it freaking hurts. Like anytime I eat or drink something, it freaking hurts. It literally feels like there's a hole in the top of my mouth. Like I don't know if you've ever had a mouth ulcer. It literally feels like there is a hole in your mouth. And then you look at it and it's like, eh, epic. Um, it could also be because I've been eating a lot of Skittles lately. <laughs> That's probably the more likely case. Regardless, I'm stressed and now my mouth hurts. So there's that but I decided I'd do a vlog today anyways. But there's probably nothing at all gonna happen. Like I said, I'm really just cleaning, doing laundry, packing, and being stressed out. So, um, Jackson is <laughs> getting very hungry. He is on the move, that child. He does not stay still. I have him like in, well, I'll just show you. I have him in here kind of like barricaded. So he'll stay put. Hey you. What's up? You just wanna go, go, go. You don't know where you're trying to go, but you're gonna get there. <laughs> Climb the mountain. Or eat it, one of the two. And Bud, you wanna say hi? What are you eating? What are those things? Foods. Foods. Do you know what this is? With what's on it, do you know? Peanut butter? Yeah, what are these? Kicks, what's that? Cheesy, what kind of cheesy? Why, cheesy, why are you whispering? What are you drinking? Apple juice. Juice. It's apple juice, I can't see it. <laughs> it's apple juice, you can't see it. Yeah, it's kind of clear, huh? I don't know where your milk is. It's probably laying around the house somewhere, getting all stinky and spoiled. I'll find it. <laughs> I can't find it. We'll find it. I can find it. You can? How about you eat your breakfast first? Okay. Okay. <laughs> and now Jackson's eating the table. So I am continuing the decluttering process. Regardless of if we move or not, I am in just full spring cleaning mode, I guess we'll call it. And Jim is actually on board now too. Yesterday he spent like two hours downstairs and came up with like three garbage bags. It's like, why do we have so much stuff that we can just throw away? Like we haven't done it probably since we moved and I think our house just needs a good decluttering. 
um, I think was it my last video, I took some clothes and books to try to sell. What is that face? <laughs> oh, you guys are getting a little show from Princess Annabelle. Whoa. Oh. so goofy. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I took those clothes and books to sell and I made $52 and I didn't go spend it. Whoa. Fall down. I'm gonna have to go play Ring Around the Rosie here in about a minute. Anywho, I'm getting so distracted. What I want to show you was that I am giving some stuff to a friend. You guys see that I get like a shit ton of stuff and I do share it. I share the wealth. So my friend Kayla is coming over. She's my bestie. Actually, she's not even just my bestie. She is Annabelle's BFF forever. Um, so we just got, she really likes these Kodiak cakes. I like them, but I just don't, I just don't use them. This is just an all purpose baking mix, which I've honestly never tried, but I just don't use it. These are actually pretty good, but I have a whole box, so I figured she could try one. These are the new Detour Smart Bar Banana Nut. They're actually pretty darn tasty. These kind bars, I do like, but again, I have like a whole box. I'm just not eating them. This is the only grenade bar that I do not like. It's Jaffa Quake. It's like orange chocolate, and I just don't like orange and, or fruit and chocolate together. Those are some protein cookies Mommy, that I didn't like, me. but maybe she will. Mommy, you at me. I see you. Oh, that's an angry face. Bottle some syrup, protein powder, what? and BCAs. Jackson's getting mad. All right, let's go get him. Ready? You gonna hold Jackson's hand? Ready? Ring around the rosy, a pocket full of posies. Ashes, ashes, we all fall down. Wait, and let's go one more time. One more time, okay. I'll turn with Jackson. Ready? Hold Jackson's hand. Let's go this way. Ring around the rosy, a pocket full of posies. Ashes, ashes, we all fall down. Are you gonna play hide and seek? Oh no, we're gonna play hide and seek. Okay, go hide. This is why I don't get anything done. Now we're playing hide and seek. All right, she is hiding in the bathroom, I think. Okay, where's Annabelle? <laughs> for example, she's in here. In here, I'm hiding. Are you hiding? In the bathroom? Found you. It's your turn. My turn. Okay. <laughs> so I'm upstairs trying to pack everything for this hospital night stay. It's just one night, unless like something goes wrong. But it should just be one overnight. And they just called and like, gave me all the instructions and then I started crying. <laughs> like, I don't know. I'm not really nervous about the actual surgery. Like, it's a pretty extensive surgery, but it's routine enough that I'm not really worried that like something bad's gonna happen. I'm more worried about how scared she's gonna be because she's been to Children's Hospital before. She knows like bad things happen there. And I thought she's gonna be confused because she's not sick. So it's like, why are we taking her to the doctor when she's not feeling sick? And then she's gonna be in pain and she have these stitches and like this bandage. And I think that's the part that I'm most worried about and nervous about is just her being scared and in pain. And I can't do anything about it, but I got my good cry out about it. I'm sure I'll cry tomorrow during the surgery, two and a half hours, I'll probably be crying. I need to like distract myself with something. I remember last time when she got a, um, she got a spinal tap when she was like six months old and they had to like put her under and sedate her for that. And I played doodle jump on my phone for like an hour and a half. Just a mindless something to let my mind wander and not think about it. So maybe I'll download doodle jump again. It's a really fun game. Haven't played it in forever. But um, I'm just trying to pack. I'm packing way too much. Like don't need all this stuff. Basically for me, just like comfy clothes, literally sweatpants and comfy clothes. I am bringing some of my own tea so I don't have to buy tea there. Drink mixes so I stay hydrated. And then I'm just bringing some snacks. Like I'm not bringing a ton of food. They actually do have pretty good food there. They have really good donuts and bagels and like 
pre-made snack mixes and trail mixes and they have lots of stuff but <laughs> I'll show you I just like opened it up and just laughed at what <laughs> what I had packed I just want to have like some comfort fun foods that I'll know I want to eat so I have some protein bars um, I love these little pretzel sticks they're like really salty too and just a bunch of candy. I told you guys I've been eating Skittles like it's nobody's business. And in here I think I just have some cereal. Yeah, some cereal things and a trail mix. I lied. That's not trail mix. It's candy mix. Who am I kidding? <laughs> a snack mix. It's literally just candy. And like just some lollipops to just suck on, obviously. Um, I'm not bringing a ton of food. That's more just like snack food and I'll get food there. And then, yeah, just like t-shirts and some comfy clothes, comfy socks to walk around the hospital. Freaking love this bag, by the way. Um, I'm bringing my iPad. I don't think I'm going to bring my computer because then I feel like I'll just like do work and I don't want to do work. I want to take the day off. And then for Annabelle, just some of her favorite little snacks. I literally packed like all the fruit snacks and I'm probably going to pack some more for her because that's what she loves. And if she wants to eat fruit snacks the whole time we're there. I'm okay with it. I don't even remember really what I put in here. And I can't do this with one hand. I don't even know if you guys care. Do you guys really even care what snacks I packed for Annabelle? Oh yeah, cheese balls. <laughs> she loves these. Um, oyster crackers she really likes, potato chips, and a whole bunch of fruit snacks and dum-dums because they'll make her happy. And then just like jammies, comfy clothes, a toothbrush. I think that's it. So. I'm going to continue packing, continue packing things that I probably don't need. I Every time I go somewhere, why do I pack so much stuff? Like, is it really necessary to bring my own tea to the hospital? Probably not. And I probably won't even drink it. But if I don't bring it, then I'll want it. And if I don't bring my own pretzels, then I'm going to want my own pretzels. So, <laughs> I always say, if it fits in the bag, you might as well pack more. Right? You're bringing a whole bag anyways. Might as well fill the bag up with stuff. That way you have options. Like, do I need three tank tops? No. But what if I don't know if I want to wear gray or white or black? Options. So I'm going to go finish doing this and I'll see you guys in a bit. So my friend Kayla just left and, and I realized that I have spit up on my shoulder. So I was there the whole time. I don't know if there's a chance that I might have been there the whole time. Oh well. I'm doing all my laundry so this is like the only clean sweatshirt that I have right now. It's okay, I can do more laundry. Um, what was I even saying? Kayla just left, and she had told me that she wanted to get Annabelle like a little something for us to either take to the hospital and say, hey, this is from Kay, or to have like when we get home. And I'm thinking like she's gonna get her a little bag of M&Ms or like some fruit snacks or a Hershey Kiss, or maybe like a little tiny stuffed animal or something. No, I just have to show you. I freaking love this girl. I was literally crying, but a little card, which obviously I'm not going to read. I'm going to save that. But look at this adorable teddy bear. We're definitely going to take that to the hospital with us. Veggie straws, which Annabelle loves. New coloring book and crayons. The cutest little shirt that says world's best sister. An entire box of Ojos. A big bag of M&Ms. New Play-Doh, Annabelle's favorite pastime. Bubbles and this made me laugh an entire jar of peanut butter and literally i wish i would have gotten on video but when kayla was here every time kayla comes over annabelle wants to eat peanut butter from a jar with a spoon and so her and kayla sat on the couch and ate peanut butter from a jar with a spoon and it was adorable so that's kind of like their little thing it was really cute but it just it made me cry like it's just so special and so sweet and so thoughtful and Kayla, if you're watching, I don't know if you watch my videos, if you're watching, we love you. Annabelle loves you. And we really, really, really appreciate it. And I really appreciate a lot of you, or at least some of you know about Annabelle's surgery, you know like when it is. And I've gotten a few text messages and snaps and just that means so much to us that you guys are thinking of her and thinking of us because it is stressful. And I know she's gonna be okay. Like, I know she's gonna be okay. I know it's gonna be worth it and it's gonna keep her from getting sick. But seeing your child scared and in pain is like the worst thing ever because you can't fix it and you can't make it all better. And you just wanna make it all better and take it away and you can't. And it's gonna suck. It's gonna be stressful. There's gonna be lots of tears from both me and Annabelle, I think. 
But uh, I am gonna end the video here just because I'm kind of getting like starting to think about it more and getting worried about it and I saw some packing and laundry and just things to do to get ready for it and then I'm probably just gonna like go to bed early. I think we're all gonna go to bed early and just take on the day tomorrow. So if you're the kind of person that prays, I'm not really a prayer kind of person but if you are, maybe say a little prayer for Annabelle or just a little happy thought happy thought for the hell cheese that'd be cool but i really do appreciate all of your guys's love and support it means the world to us if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up leave me a comment down below and i'll see you next time